Dr. Martin Luther, but I'm feeling like the king. All my hoes, they got hoes. Chopard, or Chopard, something like that. Uh, they're a Swiss watchmaker. They're not very well known, um, at least to most people. I know about them because I used to work security at one of the shops. Uh, the sunglasses they do have, you know, they normally make watches worth thousands of dollars, but the sunglasses, the quality was great, but I always thought they were too small. Another note, if you like rose gold, Chopard has a very great rose gold. Anyway, I found recently this uh, this model, the SH, SCH193 Aviator. Uh, polarized lenses, you see Chopard in the upper left corner on the outer arms. The inside is the gimmick here, that's the highlight. That tortoise shell to me is beautiful. A uh, 58 vertical, 58 millimeters vertical lens, uh, 55 sideways. You see Chopard there on the outer arm. Now it, it does stick out a little bit. The inside is the highlight, but that's going to be pressed against your face. Inside the right arm is a uh, Chopard made in Italy. Uh, the sunglasses are made in Italy, but it was originally a Swiss watch company. But anyway, on the outside, it just looks like a black aviator. Very similar to the Gucci 1627S up top, as a comparison, a little bit smaller, but <laughs> they do look good on me, they look sexy, elegant, somewhat, but there's just no pop, there's no uh, wow factor to them, it looks identical to just like a plain black pair of sunglasses I would have got at Walmart. The quality was good. I. I, I do like them, but I just there's no pop. I need something a little bit more regal, especially since they retail close to $200.